Hey guys, I'm Sridip and I will be talking about composition versus inheritance in React.js and we'll be using tree component from and design today. Uh, I will divide this topic uh, into different parts so that I can better explain inheritance using ES6 classes, composition and how composition is recommended instead of inheritance to reuse the code between the components. Before moving ahead, uh, I, if you have not seen my previous video on React.js and, and design, then I will recommend to watch it. The link is given below. I will be also using the same code to implement the inheritance and composition example here. So the code is available on my GitHub link. So you can find it below in the descriptions. So this is the dashboard which we have created using and design in last tutorial. So we have uh, our app bar then Side, uh, side navigation bar, dashboard content and footers. So today uh, we'll first start with inheritance. So in ES6 JavaScript classes introduced in uh, ECMAScript 2015 uh, are primarily syntactical sugar over the JavaScript existing prototype based inheritance. The new thing that was uh, introduced was a super keyword which we can use to uh, get the corresponding method from the super class so that we have a parent class and we have a child class and if we have to use any method from parent class then we can use super method to call that i will show you an example and how we can use it in uh, react so i will uh, i have here our code of react code i will create one new file uh, the example i'm going to use here is a cricketer cricketer we like we can have different cricketers we have batsmen we have ballers but the cricketer like name and the team for a cricketer whether it's batsman or baller remains the same so we can have a common class for that and then we batsman class we can have which will be extending the cricketer and similarly baller class we can have that will be extending a uh, cricketer class so i will just create one example for you I have the code written already so that we don't waste time on writing the code so so this is a cricketer class which has a constructor takes name and a team uh, and then we have two functions get name and get team name so this function is just retaining the name of the person and the team name now we have created two subclasses one is baller which extends the cricketer and in the constructor if you see we are passing name team and wicket so name and team is passed to super and a wicket uh, we are storing here so these wickets are nothing but the total number of wickets taken by a player so we have one more function over here that is get wickets and is going to read in the number of wickets taken by the player similarly we have a batsman which also extends cricketer and we have super which we are passing name and team there and the total number of runs that person has scored or during his lifetime so that's how we have created the two subclasses for parent class that is cricketer now what we're going to do we're going to use these two subclasses into our app.js and then we are going to display this all the information on the page so how we're going to display it is based on tree so i will be creating a tree component from and design so if you go to and design site and you go to tree you will see the example available here the tree uh, is used for showing a hierarchical uh, components and relationship between them so what i will do is i will be showing a name of the player and then which team he belongs how much runs he has created uh, if it's a baller then it will be name of the player team name and how many wickets he have taken so this is a basic example. I'm just going to open the code, which you can see below here. So we'll just copy this import statement for the tree and we're going to paste it over here. And yeah, so I do have the code for that already written. So I'm just copying this. I will explain this ahead in the tutorial. So don't worry about that so last time we have created content so the content was here so here we're gonna display the tree so we'll just replace this 
with our new code. Okay, so we have a tree. So the tree start with a tree node, a uh, tree, and then we have tree nodes. So whatever nodes we have, we can have that as uh, nested tree nodes. If we want to one inside another, then it is a nested components. So first is the high level. We have tree. Then we have tree nodes, and inside tree nodes, we can have different tree nodes. Now the second uh, thing we here can see is the key. So each component we can give a key that is useful. Then we have default uh, expanded keys. So we are giving a keys to each component. So we should specify which by default can be open. So I have given a key 0 dash 0 dash 0. So that will be open whenever the components render. Okay, one more thing. Uh, I'm just creating an instance of batsman and baller now so that we can use that here so as a best batsman and that is smith if you do wiki then you will see the best batsman right now is smith he's from australia and he has total run of 6973 similarly the baller the best baller is pat he's from australia and he has total 123 wickets so this detail i have taken from wiki i'll just import the class now if you see i'm not importing class cricketer However, I'm passing name and uh, team name. Now I go down. If you see here, the tree nodes, as I said, first thing is I'm going to display the name. But if you see, I'm calling the best, best batsman instance, and uh, which is created for batsman class. However, I'm calling a function of parent class. Now this is an example of inheritance. Even though the method is not declared over here, it isn't parent. I'm using the same method for both batsman and baller. So if you see get name here and get name. Now I'm going to say this and let's see what happened. Oh, just a minute. Uh, I'm not. Just refresh. Yeah. So now you see we have a name, we have team, we have runs. Similarly for paths, we have the name, we have the team, and we have the wickets. Now from here we can see only get wickets and get runs are for batsman and bowler class. However, is this is extending cricketer class. That's the reason why we are using get name and get team name in bowler and batsman class. So this is normal inheritance in ES6 using ES6 classes. So this super keyword is calling the constructor. So this whenever you use super, it is going to call the super constructor. That's the reason why name is getting associated with this name and team is getting with this. Now we have used our tree component and we can see how it has been displayed. Now if you see the basic tree, there are different uh, parameters we can pass whether it's checkable or not checkable default expanded key what needs to be there if it's checkable then we can pass whether the default selected key should be what if it is checked then what should be there and when we select or on check these are the different methods that can be passed to a tree components so if you go down in api of tree you will be able to see all the parameters or uh, you can pass to a tree component However, the basic example which I have shown shows you how a tree will represent. So our tree, this total component is a tree, then we have a tree node and inside tree node we have a nested tree nodes. So these two are on the same level, however, this is on the high level. So in the code, if you see this tree node start here and ends here and it has two tree nodes. So this is a nested example of tree nodes. Now, uh, this was an example of ES6 class, but not a React inheritance class so these are the basic classes now i'm going to convert this into a uh, react uh, component so that instead of using uh, instance of the class we are going to use a component so i have the code written already so that we don't waste time here so first statement we have is uh, import react library which is used to specify that we are creating a react component and then we have same cricketer class baller class and batsman class uh, 
Okay, so we have a cricketer class which extends react component. Then we have a constructor and a props and then we are calling super and prop. So this is extending react component. So that's the reason why we call super props. In the state, I'm just saving name and team using the props. The reason why I'm doing this is, this is for just example, you don't need to specify props uh, in, sta uh, in state. So whenever it's updated, you won't get this will be only initializing the first time. So take care, you don't do this in the same manner I'm doing. This is just for example to show whenever the props are passed first time, it's going in the state. So we have a method called get name over here, which is sending back the state name. And then we have a render method, which is just displaying team. So we are not displaying a name over here, but I'm displaying team in the component of cricket so we are extending it now what i do i'm going to create create a separate class that is a bowler and which extends cricketer now cricketer itself extends react component so this is also a react component by default now here we have react constructor so you are using super to call the props and then we have the states now this we are using a uh, dot operator spread operator we can say so that the existing state which is created by this constructor remains and we add a extra parameter which is wickets been passed then we have render method over here and this render method is now if you see i have written name and then this dot get name is called now this dot get name is not specified here in this class However, this dot name is specified in the parent class. So that's the reason we'll be getting the state from the parent itself. Then we use super method. Now, as I said in ES6, super keyword is used to call the super uh, what is it, uh, parent class method. So we have name this dot gate name will be displayed by this then we are calling super dot render method now super dot render method is calling this render method so this is example of inheriting a existing function in our child class and then we have this dot state dot wicket so the example here shows that we are using a method directly from the parent and second method we are use inside the same method means i am inside render i am using render of super so this is an example how we using a super render method. Okay, and this is the extra parameter. Now, in the batsman case, same thing we are doing. We have a constructor, we have super and the state and the separate parameter is runs. Here it was wicket, now we have run. And the render method is similar to what we have for a baller. First we are getting the name, then we have render, super render and then we have the runs. Now, whenever we, I'm just going to save this and we'll be calling it in our app.js. Now, we don't require tree. Uh, I will be doing it without tree. So, I will be removing all the tree and tree nodes and I'm creating a component that is batsman component and passing name team and runs in baller component I'm passing name team and wickets so it's imported I'll just save see now we have name Smith team runs name team wickets so this is an example of uh, inheritance in react so if you see uh, the get name method I have not written uh, I'm using the render of super so in both the code we are using reusing the same code which is there in our parent class so this was a normal example of inheritance i would not recommend to do it as i have done here this is for just for example but just to give you how inheritance can be used in react i have created this example in next tutorial i will be showing you why we don't use uh, inheritance and we'll be using composition because there are some drawbacks or I'll say composition is better than inheritance to be uh, as compared in both. So see you in next tutorial. Uh, till then, like, share and subscribe. Have a good day. Bye.